This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best all-in-one platform for all of your website building needs. Hey guys, it's Celestia, and for the most part, I really like my sketches. They're pretty okay. And then I line them, and finish them, and suddenly I hate absolutely everything about them. Obviously to varying degrees. I mean, sometimes I like them more than others, I, I don't always hate my work. But even when I do like the finished piece, I still don't like it anywhere near as much as I liked it as a sketch. And I know I'm not the only one who experiences this, because I've talked about it before on the channel, and saw a lot of comments from people who felt the exact same way. I had a few theories as to why so many artists like their sketches so much more than their finished work, but once you guys confirmed that you'd be interested in a video devoted to just that topic, I started researching it more, and actually found some more really intriguing theories that I hadn't even considered yet. Armed with that information, in today's video, I'm gonna go over the top four reasons that I believe artists end up liking their sketches so much more than their finished finished art, and see if there's anything we can do to change that. But before I do, let me take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace, a longtime partner of this channel. After years of using Squarespace to build and host both my personal Duchess Celestia portfolio site and my art studio site, I can confidently say that at least in my opinion, Squarespace is the best all-in-one website building and hosting platform out there. Both sites were made using some of their many versatile templates, which streamlined the web design process so much that I actually had a good time making them. No matter what you need from your site, from portfolios and blogs to landing pages and online stores, Squarespace's library of templates has you covered, and you can edit them using their Fluid Engine, a cutting-edge website design system with an effortless and intuitive drag-and-drop interface for customizing any and every part of your site. And for those of you looking to sell your art, Squarespace simplifies print-on-demand and e-commerce integration, allowing you to effortlessly transform your site into a fully functional online store. They even offer the ability to create exclusive members-only areas for premium content. No matter what you need your site to do, you can make it on Squarespace. And you can get a free trial to test it out yourself right now by going to squarespace.com slash duchesscelestia, linked in the description, and use code duchesscelestia for 10% off your first domain purchase. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, and please go check them out. All that out of the way, let's get into the video. In looking into this topic, the first thing I was struck by was just how many artists struggle with this. I expected some, sure, especially seeing how many of you guys had shared your own experiences with it in the comments, but I was not expecting to find so many forum posts and articles and general discussion that led me to believe that this is almost a universal experience for artists. And not just in a, oh, it's frustrating and disappointing that I never like my finished art as much as my sketch way, but in vastly more significant and detrimental ways too, with artists citing that exact outcome as the reason they're legitimately anxious to finish their sketches, because they're scared they're going to ruin them. Many mention giving up on the idea of finishing any of their work at all and just sketching. Not because they don't like finishing their pieces and only enjoy sketching, but because they feel like they already know in advance that they're not going to like those finished pieces anywhere near as much as their sketch, so there's just no point. It's obviously a much more wide-reaching, damaging issue than I thought it was, so I was naturally very interested in trying to understand why it's so pervasive. Number one, the first reason, is perhaps the most obvious. It's a matter of expectations. When we create a sketch, we don't expect it it'll be perfect. We might not even expect it to be good. Sketches are supposed to be messy and riddled with mistakes because they're effectively a stepping stone towards the final piece, and artists often even plan on discarding them once the line art is done. Their value is generally in establishing a concept, not refining and conveying it perfectly, so we're often much more forgiving of a significantly lower level of quality. A wonky hand is forgivable because the sketch's primary purpose is just to show that the hand is going to be there and in that position, not show exactly how that hand will look. A bunch of messy lines to form shapes don't need to be one perfect clear line because they're there to show where that one perfect clear line will eventually go later. We hold our finished work to much higher standards, so while sketches can quite easily meet our expectations in terms of quality, finished work almost never can. Comparing our sketches to our finished work means comparing a piece that's expected to be messy and full of mistakes to a piece that's expected to be near perfect, which leaves little room for surprise that the latter will be less appealing to us than the former. A sketch is meant to give a rough out outline of the vision that you have in your head for the piece. A finished piece is meant to convey that vision perfectly, or at least as perfectly as possible. So when we look at our sketches, we can enjoy them both for what they are and what they represent, opportunity. A sketch is an unfinished artistic vision, meaning that it is nothing but potential. It has the potential to eventually be refined and polished enough to match the vision that you have for it in your head. When you compare it to that vision, you don't do so critically in a way that devalues it for all of the ways it fails to match it. You do so 
positively in a way that inspires hope for all of the ways it can be improved to match it. But that's not how we view our finished work, because that potential is gone. A finished piece is supposed to be the best version of what it is, and as close as possible to that vision that we had for it. And more often than not, being compared so directly leaves it to fall dramatically short. It's done, so it no longer has the potential to become closer to that vision like a sketch does. We can imagine all of the ways in which our sketches can and will become better, but our finished work leaves no room for imagination, only the acknowledgement of the ways in which we failed to make it better. We don't look at finished art and think of the mistakes in a forgiving or constructive light. They're not expected of finished pieces like they are of sketches, and they're no longer opportunities for improvement, they're ways we failed to improve. It makes sense that we subsequently like our sketches more, because there's no pressure for them to be perfect. There absolutely is for finished pieces, and almost no artist out there is going to be able to make them perfect. The second reason artists like their sketches so much more than their finished work is because in finished work, mistakes are clearer. What I mean is that in the sketching process, we generally establish forms more roughly. A bunch of small, messy lines gradually build upon each other to form the right line, but those messy lines establish the form vaguely. When a bunch of small, messy lines eventually are added upon each other to form the right one, none of those individual lines has to be the right one nor do we look to any individual line to establish the form, but rather the general collection of them, the impression. Basically, without a defining line that we recognize clearly as forming the shape, our brains fill in the blanks of the many small lines. We automatically detect shapes in art when they aren't clearly defined, and we generally detect the most favorable, recognizable shape. I could sketch this head, and your brain would likely perceive it as this, because of the ambiguity of the lines allowing it the opportunity to fill in the blanks with the shapes that it recognizes. Line art, however, removes the opportunity for any favorable brain interpretation because it removes all ambiguity. There are no blanks for it to fill in, so the lines themselves have to be precise and accurate, otherwise we'll immediately notice when they're wrong, without the camouflage of having a bunch of other tiny lines surrounding them. Sketches establish form by way of those many small lines accumulating to show where the right line should go, so we perceive them as if the right line is there. When we line over those sketches, we have to get that right line, well, right. And sometimes we don't. Sketches can, subsequently, hide anatomical errors that line art then reveals, meaning we're a lot more likely to like our sketches than we are any art more defined than that. Reason number three that we like our sketches more than our finished art is that, in many cases, it's effectively the same as comparing two different styles of art. While there are obviously many artists whose style deliberately maintains the messy, imperfect nature of sketches even in their finished work, there are significantly more whose finished work is much more polished and refined, subsequently losing that messy, lively, hand-drawn feeling of a sketch. That means that we're basically comparing comparing two completely different styles of work. The messiness of a sketch gives it a completely different vibe artistically than a refined, polished, realistically rendered painting. And while both have value on their own as effectively different art styles, comparing them is in many ways like comparing this art by Sui Ishida to this art by Shuji Sogabe. Both are great, but one is a style where messiness is embraced as a core element, whereas the other is defined by clear, polished lines. And you might prefer one to the other as a result of those elements. Similarly, it could very well be that you like your sketch style more than your finished art style, for that that exact reason. You prefer the messiness as a valuable creative element to your work. It's also worth mentioning that with the exception of man-made objects, we don't actually see clear, perfect lines in nature as often as we might think we do. Our brain perceives them as such, as we already went over, but organic objects naturally have rough edges that we automatically kind of smooth out as we observe them, more as the shapes that make them up than those edges and details. Look at this flower, for example. Even though we would see it and draw it like this, it actually looks more like this. Sketches with their rough edges and messy lines convey this to a degree, whereas the clear definition of line art removes it, which some feel makes it appear less natural and authentic. This is also the reason that we naturally kind of find AI art jarring, because it smooths those edges too. Finally, the fourth reason artists like their sketches more than their finished work is actually a matter of skill and experience. Let me explain. Different parts of the artistic process require the use and development of different skills. Sketching requires knowledge of anatomy, forms, and composition. Line art requires knowledge of line weight, practice dexterity, and skill at confidently lining precisely without wavering or petting your lines. Rendering requires knowledge of color theory, light, shadow, blending techniques, and more. As artists, the majority of us start out sketching and spend most of the time we spend 
spend making art in the sketch process, unless you're someone who finishes absolutely every single one of their sketches. Many artists have tons of unfinished sketches, moving on to make new ones before lining or rendering the old ones. The curse of too many works in progress that all of us know way too well. That means that the skills that we use in sketching, anatomy and composition, namely, are the ones that we use the most, and subsequently the ones that we develop and perfect the most. Generally speaking, that means that most artists have the skills necessary to make a really good sketch because they spend more time sketching than lining or rendering. So the skills required to make that really good sketch are disproportionately better honed than the skills required to line or render. So assuming, roughly, that of all the time you spend drawing, you spend 50% of it sketching, 30% of it lining, and 20% of it rendering, that means that you'll spend less time developing the skills it takes to line than the skills it takes to sketch, and even less time than that on the skills it takes to render. So when you make a sketch, you have 100% of the skills needed to do so well. When you line it, you might only have 70, and when you render it, maybe only 50. These are just rough numbers that would obviously differ heavily based on the individual artist, but the point is that your ability as an artist to do each step well depends on how long you've been learning how to, and most of us have spent the majority of our time learning how to sketch, with an increasing drop-off in lining and rendering time depending on how often we finish those sketches. So we're worse at those things than we are at sketching. Adding subpar line art and poorly chosen or blended colors, subsequently, would lead to us liking the sketch better by comparison. And I'm ending on that one because it's the most hopeful in terms of a solution. If that is, for you, the reason that you like your sketches more than your finished work, that means that over time, the longer you spend just making art, finishing more, and developing those other skills honed during the other steps in the creative process, the less this will be a problem for you. That's definitely been my experience. I still usually like my sketches more than my finished work, but by a much smaller margin. And looking at it through that lens also allows you to critically analyze what aspects of your finished piece you don't like in comparison to the sketch, so that you can figure out your weak points that led to those shortcomings, and target them in your studies. Time is also the natural solution for the second reason, that the messiness of sketches hides mistakes that line art reveals. Eventually, through practice and study, you'll gradually make less mistakes to be revealed in the first place. When it comes to the first reason, that our expectations are lower for sketches and too high for finished work, the only advice I can give is to be more forgiving of that finished work. Strive for excellence, not perfection, as a team building course I took for an old job once said. You'll probably never be able to perfectly bring your artistic vision to life, but that doesn't mean that what you do create in your finished work should be viewed as bad just because it's not exactly how you envisioned it. Finally, when it comes to the third reason, that you prefer the messiness of a sketch to the polish of a finished piece, if that is the case for you, you might benefit from reconsidering the style in which you finish your work. You can absolutely finish a piece while maintaining that messy, natural, hand-drawn vibe, something artists like Sui Ishida make clear, and it could be worthwhile to mess around and experiment with that if that's your reason for not liking your finished pieces as much as your sketches. But what do you guys think? I'm sure there are a million other reasons why we, as artists, like our sketches more, and I'm genuinely curious as to what yours are, if you know them at all, and how you handle and get past them. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Special thank you as always to channel members Café Soleil, Joseph Solomon, TC Pratt, Zelda Deverac 42, King Good James, Art of Amethyst Fable, Scourge the Cat 67, and Haruki Kenway, as well as patrons Batman, Kyle Lowe, Blue Swanson, Cora Fear, Jamisha Walker, Alang Shi, Kim Nguyen, Crazy Asar, Gen Tong, Grayson Xavier, MG, Blah Mage, TC Pratt, Finn, Grim Specter, Celine Merriman, Ash, Eldritchia, The Stray Dog, Ulura, Greg Noble, Decagon, Jenny Chan, Captain Reku, Ryan M. Williams, Catbus, Alec Reinekainen, Mac, and Lucy Amajiki, and I'll see you in the next one.